Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday. And today, I wanted to jump back into the hunt. The hunt for the Secret Rare Anubis. I've opened a few of these boxes now, and we have not found the Secret Rare. I haven't pulled any Secret Rares from New Dawn Rises yet. So, I am pretty darn excited to open this box up and see if we can find this sucker finally, or at least one of the Secret Rares. But Anubis? Anubis is what we want to find. So, uh, I'm going to cruise through this box. I'm going to fly through this box as fast as I can, straight to the rares, all the good stuff, you know how it goes. So let's open this up and see if we can find it. Whoops, slicing in. And I'm taking a break from the Zero War. I've still got two boxes over here and I haven't decided if I want to keep them or sell them. Uh, I'm not going to sell them anytime soon but if I do sell them because I know the value so far has been there. So we'll see about that, but I might jump in back into it at some point if I feel so inclined, but we did pull a lot. I opened up three boxes worth, so it was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed those. Uh, all right, really quick, we're gonna go pull out our promo. You guys know this promo. It's Scald, it's a cool promo. We know how much it is. It's like three bucks or something, and all the rest of our shenanigans in here. New box, new fun, let's jump into it. All right, starting off with the first Rare, let's go straight to it here if we can. Not quite, we're a little off center. That's all right. Uh, there's our Rare Disgrace Knights and a Magic Stone of the Undead, which is not a bad pull in a full art. I'll take that. Does it really matter what I'll take or not take? I don't know, because we are just going straight into trying to find the good stuff here. There's a regular Scold, and then Explore the Unknown. Will Points, I'm sad that these are not a thing. I would be a rich man in Will Points if they were still a thing. Oh well. All right, cranking to the back. Wow, we kind of already saw it, but we've got Azazel, uh, Azizel, and then Protection of the Angels, which actually is a pretty decent rare to get, honestly. Uh, it's got some value to it for a full art. I remember that one for sure. That's nice. We can still enjoy the nice full art rares that we pull. There is some fun to be found in here besides the secret rares. Great box, great box. Uncommon. Black Spot Tiger, I don't care about you, and Magic Stone of Om Omni Science. Just an uncommon though, but a cool, cool looking, wow. Have to admire that for a sec, that is really cool. It's got a nice air about it, aesthetically pleasing. All right, into Bottomless, whatever. Burial Rites is our rare, decent card to pull. And Land of Fiery Ambitious Kunlin, just an uncommon. I'll probably refrain from pricing a lot of these just to save myself time on the edit because I am a little bit behind this week. Filming this the day before, it's never ideal. Lancelot and Grand Bird of the Lost Isles, but if it is like above like a buck or two, I'm gonna put it in there, so don't worry. Into the next. Let's do this thing here. Ooh, straight to the rare that time, Osiris. And then Chain Bind. Uncommon. Oh well. That's all right. We just went to the lucky left side, and these older sets, I feel like, have more of a chance for lucky left side to come to fruition. Uh, all right, uncommon, uncommon. There's uh, Lemuria, Magic Boomerang, and then Whimpers, well, Whimpers, Whispers of an Angel. <laughs> Into the next, here we go, there's Whispers again. And then Karua, the Crow of Tengu, which she has a secret rare artwork to it, which is pretty sweet. I actually do prefer her original artwork compared to the secret art, or alternate art, or however you want to call it. But uh, we may end up getting her if we do pull a secret rare eventually. Messenger of Death, common. Wow, I think there's three in the set. There's three secret rares. So we've got our options, we just have to hope and cross our fingers for the one we want. Uh, Siegfried, and then Carrier Dragon. Hooah. I told you, I'm gonna cruise on this thing, I'm not, I'm not stopping for anything. I kinda showed the rare on that one, I think. Magic Boomerang, nobody cares about you. And then we got Atlantis Wielder of Knowledge Full Art. Hooah. Come on, let's do it! We got an angel at the top, and I'm struggling to go to the rare, but there it is, Magic Stone of the Undead, just the normal version, and then we got Baal, the evil from the scriptures, that's a full art, really nice looking card, not going to complain about that full art. What was your favorite set from the Valhalla series? Were you one of the lucky ones to get the decisive battle when it first came out, or was it still too hard to get at the time? Let me know in the comments below, we've got 
that was our rare right there, but we've got Lancelot, the Glass Knight, which is a good one to get. I think it's like a seven bucker, honestly, as a full art, not bad. I'm starting to remember the value of these things from these sets, you know? Uh, I'm not so much of a guesser anymore. Wow, I really can't just like pull these off today? Okay, uh, there we go. Massive growth, rare, and then we've got our uncommon Angel of Knowledge, a nice looking card. Let's go into the Skeleton Knight, and then Sandstorm, which is not a rare, that's not a rare either, Disgrace Knight, and then behind it, we've got the Mysterious Wanderer as our full art, which is a, a decent one. She's not super highly valued. I think she's like two, two bucks maybe. She's not, surprisingly not. I mean, for such a cool looking card, you'd think maybe it'd have a little bit more value, but no, not really. Uh, but I love it nonetheless. It's a good one. It's a good one. As you guys know, I'm just a collector. I'm an artist myself, so I appreciate good artwork. And for me, for collecting these cards, it's all about the artwork and how nice a quality the cards are and the artwork that's contained inside just blows me away. So uh, value is not always my first go-to with these cards. It's a lot of the time, it's just the beautiful artwork that is included in these wonderful boxes. So Magic Stone of Tranquility, rare, and then Forgotten Sanctuary. Forget you, Sanctuary, you're just an uncommon. Get out of here. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite card from this set? What's it gonna be? I think my favorite one would, well, I mean, besides the obvious of the Secret Rare Anubis, I, I think, uh, who is it? Gosh dang it. There's the other girl. Wow. We'll run into her, I'm sure. There's another girl that I'm, like, completely forgetting. I should have had backup. <laughs> I, sh I should have been more ready for asking myself that question, I guess, huh? <laughs> was not prepared to answer that myself, even though I was asking you guys. Wow, okay, I'm dropping it. And we got Thick Fog, whatever. All right, cranking, let's go. And straight to the silly little Sound of Temptation Hamlin. And then we've got Joe Mamu, Little Eater of Worlds. I know that's not his name. I know, I know, I know. I've given up all hope of just pronouncing things correctly. I'm just going with the flow on these things. Magic Stone of Adventure, Magic Stone of Chaos, and then we've got Ophelia, Angel of Guidance. Not a bad super rare to get in a full art. Pretty sweet. Woo, I think we're almost, I think we're already halfway through, honestly. We've been cruising, which is fine by me. All right, Magic Stone of Faith, good one to get in a full art. Keep that one in mind. And behind it, we got Burial, burial Rites. Also a decent one to get in a full art, because I know this one has a few bucks of value. I want to say maybe it's like a 350 or something for a full art. Ooh. Ooh. We got more angels on the front, and we're going into the back of Mysterious Wanderer, just the normal version, and Heaven Thundering Strike, a cool looking card. Very nice as a full art. Where is the goodies? Come on, we gotta find the goodies. Let's go. Ninja, Spear of the Valkyrie, Look of Corruption. There we go. That's the hits we wanna be seeing right there. A good, I think, $12 card for just a normal version. And behind it, pfft. yeah. Come on, come on. That's an 18 bucker right there. 16 to $18, Look of Corruption, full art. Did we do this last time? Did we pull the regular version and then straight into the full art? I feel like I'm remembering that or something, but, or maybe it was one pack and then the next we had it. Either way, like, fantastic back-to-back -back double rares. Uh, and it's very, it's one of the most valued ones in the sets besides the secret rares, so, cool. Hey, yeah. all right, all right, all right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, gently into the rare Severing Life Blade. I don't know how much the regular one goes for, but I do know the full art is like a 10 bucker, I believe, too, right under Look of Corruption. And Magic Stone of Corruption, just an uncommon, but beautiful nonetheless. Huh. Let's go. We gotta keep an eye out. I am keeping an eye out for that rare on top, just in case we pull into a god pack. I think you guys just saw that end card, but hey, we got the Nitron Blade, another good one to get, has some value, and then we got Momin on the end, the stupid cat kite. Next one, let's go right to, don't spoil it myself, Lancelot the Glass Knight, and then Corpse Demon, eh. Next pack, let's do this. We got a Bird of Fire which I don't remember ever seeing, honestly. And Angel of Knowledge, there's our rare Protection of the Angels. I forget what this goes normally, but again, we established it's a good one. And we got Angel of Clairvoyance as our super rare. It's just a common, but 
come on, that's some great artwork. I really like the artist that does a lot of these, uh, the cards in these sets. I think he's still around doing some of the newer stuff too. All right, here we go into the rare. We got Squall of the Tengu as the rare, and then Spear of Valkyries as a full art uncommon. This one's like a $3 one as a full art, even though it's an uncommon, does have some value. People do still cherish the nice artwork of this one, I think, a little bit, so very good. Ooh, we are flying, let's go. We are almost through, I think. All right, so Light of the Moon, we got the Wielder of Knowledge again, and then we got Magic Stone of Tranquility, rare full art. I'm looking, but I don't see it. Where's our secret rare? It's gonna be in one of these. We've only got a few more left. Will our secret rare be discovered? Into this pack. Let's go, Scalding Breath, whatever. Oh, we've got Anubis right there. Will it be a sign? Not today, it's one of my least favorite cards from the set, Child of the Hero, as a lame full art. Whoa. Let's go. We got our nice sliver looking bat creature, Magic Stone of Dramaturgy, uh, that's not common too, I didn't realize, Merlin, control units of the Sky Round. And then we've got one who gazes at the soul. Next one, come on. I mixed them all up so now I can't even claim like Lucky Left Side, I'm such a fool. I could have had the epic Lucky Left Side ending like we did the one time. Eater of Worlds, and then Tiny Traitor. I haven't gotten this one in a common full art, actually. Huh. Next one, let's do this. Scorpion, oh, okay, all right. I thought we jumped to the full art for a second, but we got Obrazuki as our super rare. This is the card I was talking about. Uh, fan of her character, she's sweet looking. And a Venomous Scorpion. Ah, come on, that's not what we want. I'm whining now. I'm just whining for my secret rare. Come on, let's go to the rare, straight to the rare. All right, Swordsmaster and Cat Ninja Scouts. Woo, let's do this thing. Into, not the rare slot. All right, let's go. All right, Baal, the evil from the scriptures as just our normal super rare. Behind it, we got Iron Cauldron Witch. It's such a cool card, still like, Love the artwork on this one. Two packs, that's it. Um, hmm. We'll go with the lucky left side. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll end with that one, I should say. All right, let's go into the right-hand side here and go to the Uncommons Corpse. And then we've got Tyost of Kunlun, the Gongbayu, whatever his name is. I'm off center, but there you go. That's who we have and Traitor of Sandora, come on. Last pack, last pack, last pack. Will we get an epic last pack? Let's find out. Go through this one nice and gently without giving anything away. Bird of Fire, Oni, Skeleton Knight, Apostle, Sun, Light of Moon, Festival, we showed it, didn't we? Gosh dang it, I'm doing terrible with that today. Thundering Strike, and we already saw it. It's just a single stroke. This was a pretty dull box, in my opinion, although we did get Look Up Corruption, but um, yeah, why not with a fizzle? Why not with a fizzle? Dang, that's gotta be some record time for me to go through a box in a video, that's crazy. So our polls of the day, let's go over them really quick and see how we did, because value-wise, I don't think it was too bad. So we got Valkyrie, which is a good little uncommon floor to get our burial rights severing blade has some value or brazuki under uh, undervalued i think i think it should be a little bit more i know she's not crazy in just the regular version but i still put her in there uh nitron blade good card to get glass knight regular glass knight regular glass knight full art and then we got protection of the angels regular and then protection of the angels full art and then of course our nice little double hitter of the day look at corruption normal and look at corruption full art. Pretty sick, pretty sweet. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Totals up on screen for how we did on this box. And I've been seeing the prices on the boxes going up a little bit on eBay and Amazon, uh, which is a good thing, I think, for the game overall. So I'm happy about that. But hopefully we did well in the box. And uh, if you want me to get another one of New Dawn Rises to keep searching for the Anubis Secret Rare, make sure to leave a like and leave a comment down below. Low, below. <laughs> 
and make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate if you guys subscribe, support the channel. I want to keep doing the force of will. And if you enjoy it, then make sure to hit subscribe. So thank you guys for watching again, and we will see you guys in the next video.